What's good, y'all? I'm here to talk about Takeshi. <laughs> Takeshi 69. Takeshi 96. And all the hood ethics that we have that no one really freaking follows. So, everybody knows Takashi. It's out of jail. And a couple hours ago, he decided to go live. And if you're from the hood, everybody knows if you're from the hood, that and it's not tolerated, especially if you're in the streets. I'll get on that subject later. If you're in the streets, you can't write. Simple, plain. Everybody knows that. The thing about it is Takashi read it. He went to jail. And he got out. He didn't even serve a full year. He just out of jail, living his best life. Okay. And the problem with that is it's really problematic because it's really problematic because he was talking all this hot, heavy stuff. He was saying how he he could do this, he could do that, he a blood, he a, he in the gang, and all this hot and heavy stuff. So now that he's out, he's talking about, oh, y'all would have read it if y'all was in my shoes, and all this other stuff he said. Tashi. Tiki Tiki. First of all, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes because I wouldn't put myself in that predicament to be in a game that I didn't need it. I did not need to be in. There was no reason why Takashi needed to join the game. He decided upon his on his own to do, join the game. Like who told him to do that? He told himself to do that because he's an asshole. Secondly, I wanna know if you decided. As a grown person, to put your hand on a stove, but you knew the consequences of that, would you put your hand on the stove? I don't think you would put your hand on the stove because you're an effing idiot if you did. It don't take a rocket science to know, scientists to know if you join a game, bad things will happen. That's why they always try to prevent you from joining the game. Simple as that. Shop at Chris Chanel, Instagram, my sis, okay? My shirt's a silver princess. But yeah, secondly, all the people that's actually backing him up and feeling sorry for him because he got threats on his life. Um, I never understood why people got mad at people who snitched that wasn't in a gang or in the streets. I never got that. Only because if you're in a gang, you know you're doing criminal activities, do it privately. And if you can't do it privately, don't do it. People out here is not moving like uh, James St. Patrick. They're not moving like Ghost of Power. They're not. So, because you put yourself in a vulnerable situation that you out here doing dumb things, dumb activity, criminal activities in front of everybody. Nine times out of ten, they're going right. But you, that's in the game, you're never expected to right, in my opinion. Because why would you be doing it in public? That's stupid. Like, well, if you, if you knew you wasn't going to, if you knew you wasn't going to have the balls to join the gang, you're not right. Don't join the game. As simple as that. And on top of that, he put it all in his music. Which he didn't do because he's really a punk. He just really was talking about the status. And at this point, just cancel. Cancel rap. Rap is canceled for me. Because these these guys are they're stupid. They're, they're really stupid. They piss all this murderous kill, kill, bang, bang, shoot them up in their music. And they think people are not listening. I don't understand the concept. I I don't get it. But whatever. Thirdly, Takashi 69 is not a freaking victim. 
He want to say how they did this to him. They're gang members. They're gang members. You don't get no respect to me from me because you're ready. You out. If something, God forbid, something happened to that God, uh, Takashi 69, 69 Kashi, it's his fault. He's out here not laying low, out here flossing, got money, got this, got that. And he, he the stunt king. A whole time when he was out, when he was rapping, when he was super popular, well, he's still super popular, two million views on his goddamn live. But I didn't watch it, by the way, because I'm not supporting it. But people really think for that you in the game, you doing those murder, murder, kill, kill. And I'm supposed to feel sorry for you because from my understanding, didn't he, didn't he pull a hit, try to get other rappers killed and try to hurt, get people murdered and he only served less than a year in jail because he read it <laughs> and people think this is okay and they think this is cool I, what I don't understand is how how is he still living there's so many gangs and everything and I just lost respect for a lot of people because Takashi 69 is out of jail No one's killing them, touching them. Black men are getting killed for freaking running down the street. And we have people killing each other. Black men killing other black men and women for what? $200? Less than that? Something somebody said? But y'all can't go turn your guns on Zimmerman. I don't believe that nonviolent. I love me so Martin Luther King, but that nonviolent stuff ain't for me. Cause you hurt me, I'm gonna hurt you. You hurt one of my people, I'm gonna hurt you. And that's just what it is. So I have no respect. Like if I say this to a lot of people, they looking at me like, oh, you doing too much. No, you're not doing enough. Because all this marching and crying and that's not doing nothing because it, it's not stopping them from killing them. That's just my opinion. So, for Meat Mills, stop tweeting. Just delete Just delete the ad. You don't need it no more. Because, in my opinion, you look weak tweeting somebody like him. What are you gaining out of tweeting about Takashi 69? Because all he's going to do is troll and do the most and break up stuff that you don't care about. Like, because he don't have no back, bone fucking backbone. And you by you tweeting somebody who's not a fucking factor in your life, you look like the weak one. You should never be lowering yourself to that level to feel like you should say something to Takashi 69. If you want to do something to Takashi 69, keep that shit off of Twitter. Or if you feel like something need to be happening to him, keep that shit off Twitter. You don't want that shit coming back to you. Let that shit be great. I'm, I'm, I'm never going to tell nobody what I'm going to do to somebody and put it on the internet. That's just not a smart move to do. It's just not. And the fact that Takashi 69 is walking around here playing a victim and say, oh, they did this to me, they did that. You're in a gang, and that's what they want to do. You shouldn't have joined the gang. You were so hyped to join the gang saying blood this, blood that. Calm it down, son. I'm a deal. Because you the first one to freaking read it. Meat Mills, you need to calm it down yourself because you over here tweeting about him for hours. Like, no one cares. Honestly. Do something about it if you want to do something about it, but don't tweet about it. This is why Drake said <laughs> trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers because why are you doing that? Like, that's not necessary. If he wanted to be a rat, let him read it to leave it out. But until then, nobody really care about what you, what the people will do with you. Because ain't nothing been done yet. So all that, uh, we seen it before. We did see it before. We seen people get hurt before from Ray. It was a whole era in Philly 
that everybody was wearing stop snitching shirts. It was a thing. Literally everybody in the city had stop snitching shirts on. And the thing about it is, as a citizen, don't don't they, who don't commit crime. If something happened to my family members, I'm ready. I don't give a fudge what nobody say. Like, don't worry. I'm ready. If as either I'm killing you or I'm ready. Whatever you want, pick your struggle. But if you do something to my family members, something's happening to me. Ready? Don't don't kill nobody in front of me. If I'm not in there on the crime, don't do it. But I don't understand why they put people in there. Regular citizens, like they're not in the games, they just mind their business. You don't want them to not read at the killing their cousin, sister, brother, moms, dad. No, kids. Mm. Five hip hop. I just can't, I can't listen to no new artists anymore. I can't sell out artists because this just shows that y'all, we y'all be talking about this bull crap. They be talking about all this shooting up, bang, bang, and doing this, and killing people this. But half of these artists are black, and half of these artists don't do nothing for the community. Nothing positive. I know there's not no one job to influence people, and you're supposed to raise your own children. But they know their kids look up to them. They know that. Because I'm pretty sure when they were younger, they looked up to a rap or a singer, someone. They looked up to someone. So because you're doing it, be a model citizen. Stop trying to be hood, everybody. That's I know my shirt say hood princess. <laughs> Stop trying to have a mentality is just not not trying to succeed in life. I want to kill people. And then Takashi turned around snitching. Was he? I, I just don't understand. He was the same person trying to kill other rappers. Now he crying. Probably in witness protection. I'm pretty sure. Right? Because there's no way. He's talking too heavy. He's, he's just in witness protection. And you never know anybody's struggle. Or whatever. But for him to get on Instagram and to get 2 million views. And for me, there was a tweet about him for like five hours. What's the point? I mean, he a band, but oh well, no one cares. Obviously, people, it's a generation change. These kids obviously love rats because he's a rat. New York is very much big. It's pretty big in New York, so I don't know what they finna do, how they finna do it. But people allowed this and they backed him up. And he was saying nigger, nigger so effortlessly didn't care one lick, didn't bear an eyelash. Didn't think about the black men around him. And did they really think that he wasn't going to snitch? He don't give a fudge. He didn't give a fudge about y'all. And these old men looking dumb because they serving jail time. Prison time. Not jail. Prison time. Five plus years. And he out less than a year. And y'all grown 30, 40 year old men. All because a 24 year old decided to talk crazy. Now you're indicted and now he writing. What? Mm -mm. That's just not how life works. What the fuck it does. And I don't understand it. I don't like the way he did it. I see if he was never into anything and he just said, I like to get take twos and, and troll. No, he put hits on people like he was talking crazy. And he never got touched one time. Nobody ever touched Takashi 6 ix 9 
for his sake. I hope he praying. I hope everybody loves him enough to keep him protected. I hope nobody do nothing to him. But I do hope he get humbled and realize that he's not a fucking victim. Because he did something to me. And this is why he went in to get a better deal. He sat there and just read it, read it, read it. And now he come out and talk heavy like, I would have, y'all would have did this too. But I wouldn't have put myself in a predicament to be in a game to have to read. Why would you do that to yourself? Just so you can say blood, so you can say you live in the life that you rapping about, which you probably ain't never, ever, ever touched a gun for real. Well, we probably touched a gun, but you never probably shot a gun in your life for real. Or shot anybody. Or had to do any real criminal activity. All he knew how to do was talk shit. And that's exactly what he did. Talk a lot of shit. And for them grown ass men that was behind him. Thinking that shit was cute. And ain't telling this little boy. That this ain't the life to live. Was another level of weirdness. And it just shows that a lot of black men. Need to get that shit together. <laughs> Cause that was fucking stupid. Like comment subscribe. I am what is normal. Peace.